Let me see your face. No, baby, I don't know. Come here, baby, let me see your face. I'm you, huh? Thank you, Papa. You look very handsome. Call me Daddy. Daddy. Nice Daddy. Mm -hmm. You like Papa? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You like Papa? Sexy. I like Papa. Sexy. Yeah. <laughs> we about to go to dinner, man. Go to dinner. I haven't filmed a dinner yet. So you know what? I'ma vlog a dinner for y'all. Alright? And then it's drain over. Let's see what they have for dinner today. So far, the dinners haven't been all that, man. So far it's two for two with the shit. So if it's like that again, we're just gonna start eating at the buffet. But we're gonna give it one more shot. Three straight you out. So let's go see what dinner looking like. This is my drip today. For me. That's what I got on. Sun slight, nope. With a white tee, little sun slight, man. Sun slight, you know. I'm about to go meet up with the fans. We're gonna have dinner, we're gonna see what they got, and we're gonna get back to you. We'll see what we can get into, man. Oh. I uh, date night, date night with my baby, man. I took her to the arcade, and we had a blast. This arcade is on the cruise. Uh, we got into a lot, man. You know, I don't want to say this. I don't really, you know, want to say this because I am a sore loser. I'm very competitive. But before we even say that, let's talk about this punching bag. You guys know I be boxing. The highest score on this machine was like 988, I believe. So right here, you feel me? I punched the bag. Boom. I was thinking like, what punch should I hit? Do it with. I was thinking about should, like, should I do a jab, a hook? I think I went with the straight, the, the right hand. I got an 853, but I actually got way higher than that the next time I tried. You feel me? I actually got a 911. You feel me? So yeah, I'm going to put that in if I do not forget to insert that clip in. But yeah, so what I didn't want to tell you guys, she ended up beating me in almost every game. She beat me in almost every game, man. I'm not going to lie. But, you know, I'm not going to be a sore loser. I don't like losing, but I'm going to give it to her. Props to her. Kudos to her. You know what I'm saying? She deserves credit when it's due. She beat me. Fair play. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. But just know, I'm coming back for that revenge. Mm, I'm here. I give her a little kiss, you know? I love this girl. She's so beautiful. She's so sweet. She's so kind. And if you're watching this, I just want you to know that. You feel me? Um, yeah, here they had this crazy car game. Like, I never knew they had car games like this. This car game, you actually had to put on a seatbelt because the car, the car seat literally like jerks you around, like, it literally tosses you around. If you're not wearing the seatbelt, you will literally fall. So, you have to wear a seatbelt. It was cool, it felt real for real. They make it like that too. They make it so you have a real experience. You feel me? It was very fun. This was a good arcade. It was a really good arcade. Was it better than Dave and Buster's? Uh, not really. Obviously, Dave and Buster's gonna be better because it is bigger or whatnot. It has more games, but this was fun, especially the car game. This car game was better than the ones at Dave and Buster's. But she was killing it, as you can see here. She was killing it. You feel me? She ended up making it in first place. I played right after her. I ended up making it in first place. You feel me? So, yeah. Had a fun time, had a great time, man. Love it, absolutely love it. <laughs> look, at, look at it throwing her around. Y'all see? That's what I'm talking about. Look at that power, look at her. And one thing about her, she do not like wearing seatbelts in real life. I always had to tell her like, yo, wear a seatbelt, wear a seatbelt. And she would low key try to argue with me a little bit. Not like a real argument, but she was like, you know, like, why, like, I don't like it, why don't I wear a seatbelt? You know what I'm saying? But. You know, she started listening as time went on, and I respect it because, you know, I just care about her safety, you know? She is my girlfriend. I want her to be safe out here. But this is why you need to wear a seatbelt if you're watching this because you see how this little game is throwing you around. So imagine a real car. But she was killing it, man. She really was. So shout out to her. And yeah, man.
so here it was finally my turn i was so happy i was so excited felt like a kid again i'm not gonna lie but yeah i'm telling you this card game was amazing look at that smile on my face man i didn't even know i could cheese that hard but the way it just threw you around like it was just crazy the experience was crazy but yeah i was doing my thing you feel me you know i got that first place too you know but yeah had so much fun bro Here she surprised me. She didn't really surprise me like that because she is a strong woman. Like we working out with each other, she's strong. You feel me? Don't play with her, you know. But her getting that score for a for a female was very surprising. Shout out to her, you know. Six hundred plus for a female? That's insane. Here we was uh, playing hit the clowns. You know what I'm saying? Got to throw the ball and hit the clowns. If you hit the ones on the top, you get thirty points. If you hit the ones in the middle, you get twenty. And the ones on the bottom, you get ten points. So be going at it. You feel me? <laughs> that was really fun. Enjoy that as well. This was also a really fun game. You gotta throw the ball and the little white pot. It's harder than it looks. She ended up doing it. I couldn't even do it. And when she did that, it gave us a thousand points. So she really carried this game on her back because, yeah, she got that ball in that pot right there. You know, we celebrate a little bit, as you can see right there. Look at the score going up. Sheesh, look at the score rocking it up, man. Woo! Yeah, now we at my favorite, basketball, you know? So this is the moment for me to redeem myself. The moment for me to get some victories. You feel me? So I took this to my advantage. You know, I got the height advantage. You know, I've been doing this longer, you know. So I had to take advantage and at least win something. I couldn't go the whole night taking straight L's. I did end up winning basketball. She did come close though, but you know, unfortunately not close enough. I had to talk my little shit because she was cooking me all night. So this makes me feel a little better. I ain't gonna lie. After that, we got some drinks. The night was still pretty young. We hit the nightclub. This is where things got very lit. My brother Brandon, he went on a dance floor going crazy. He was doing cartwheels, had females twerking on him. He had this one lady, as you guys could see, following him around the dance floor trying to dance with him. But he was walking away from her because he didn't like how she looked. But it's like, bro, you could have just told her and been kind. This dude just walking away. That really had me crying. I was rolling. I was dying of laughter. That was so hilarious. But this was a really lit night. We was turning up. Brandon was turning up in there. And then my girlfriend got on the dance floor. She started dancing with Brandon. They was turning up. Everybody was turning up. It was good vibes. Had my brothers in the background. They was dr uh, drunk. Well, one of my, well, my older brother, Tony, then he was with his friend. And then they was drunk. And then my mom and her boyfriend was in the back. It was just a good night. It was good vibes, man. We was just living it up, man, for real. But yeah, this was an amazing night, man. Y'all enjoy the rest of the video, though. <laughs>